The reason why you're depressed is because of you. Alright? So I'm pointing some fingers. Alright, so what is up guys? My name is Johnny. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today I'm going to be talking about the reason why my generation and the generation coming after me, we are so de depressed. We ain't got no purpose in life. Like, we ain't got no purpose in life. Most of us are just mad depressed. Most of us got nothing going on in our lives. Most of us don't have meaning in life, right? And of course, it's easy to be like, okay, it's social media. Okay, let me hear me out. Social media plays a huge role in it. However, we cannot just put 100% on the blame on social media, right? We cannot just do that. Like, even though they play a huge, they play a huge role in it. Sometimes we gotta blame ourselves as well as civilians. We gotta blame the, we gotta blame um, people. You gotta blame your next neighbor. You gotta blame yourself, and you gotta blame the people that are not doing the right thing. Right. So an example would be, for an example, people ju are just scared now to say the truth. People are just scared because they don't want to get canceled. The churches that were supposed to tell us be like, oh, man, this is how the churches are becoming the same thing. The pastors are literally sleeping with the people that they were supposed to preach to. Right. So all little things like that is just affecting us. Uh, some of us don't have faith anymore. Some of us are slowly losing faith in the church. The most, some, some of us are just slowly losing faith in humanity as a whole, right? Like, which is understandable. Like, I, I've been through that. As a matter of fact, I'm more of a pessimistic, pessimistic individual than an optimistic person, right? So me saying this is not me saying, okay, because I'm bad. It's because it's coming out of experience. Right, it's coming out of experience. I, I went through all this route. Oh my God, life is just depressing. Life is just sad. Like blah blah this. I'm the victim. Blah blah that. The thing is, most of the time, is the way we we look at our, our ourselves, the way it's our brains. All right. So I have you guys. Uh, if you guys don't know, there's a book called Man Searching for Meaning. It's about the Holocaust. Right. The the the, uh, the author is uh, Victor Frankl. So you guys know about the Holocaust. Uh, the Jews, how the Jews were treated, the concentration camps. But um, Viktor Frankl is one of those individuals. Even though, like, he basically wrote about what was going on at the concentration camp, how he experienced it. So here's like one of the quote that he got. So, so, so basically, this is one of the quotes. Okay, the one thing you can't take away from me is the way I choose to respond to what you do to me. Right, so basically what he's saying, I'm pretty sure you guys get what I'm trying to say. Basically what he's saying is that you can do whatever you want to me, but yet again, the thing that you cannot take from me is the fact that the way I respond to it. And I'm pretty sure, uh, what's his name, David Goggins have actually said the same thing, right? David Goggins have actually said the th same thing. If you read a lot of um, um, a lot of self-help book, a lot of them are going to just derive around the fact that it's the way you look at things, right? The way you look at things is going to dictate the way you carry yourself for the most part. And the fact, let's look into the fact that nowadays it's just that morality has gone down too. Meaning that people, like for an example, only fans. If you're loyal to money, you're unloyal to nothing else. You know what I mean? So people are willing to sell their bodies on, on, on Instagram, on 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 websites and they will be perfectly fine with it with no shame at all right at all they, they will literally be happy about it too they'll brag about it and the fact that so many people are having just random sex and they'll brag about it too it's like a it's like a metal it's like a medal of honor right so all things like that affect the way people look at the life as a whole one of my biggest thing as to why I'm so like I just, I'm just so pessimistic about the world is that listen if I try to carry myself in good morality or okay, try to carry myself as a good individual but yet again you have the bad apples that are doing the wrong things right like why should I keep doing the right things when I see the people that are doing the wrong thing are exceeding a lot faster than me right so it's just one of those things man you just got to think about it you just got to look at it in your own perspective you just got to change your mindset because most of the time it's the mindset that is skewed my mindset is is 
I won't say my mindset is good. My mindset is pretty pessimistic. But as time goes on, I start slowly be like, okay, if I'm so pessimistic, my life is not going to change. Same goes for you, right? So here's a quote from uh, uh, African quotes, right? So if you're African, you will know, but like, no matter what, Africans just like telling, they like giving advices <laughs> when you did not even ask for it. So one of the African quotes is that if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Right? That is one thing people are, um, are slowly starting to forget. The fact that we need each other. <laughs> you cannot be... Yes, you can't you can be successful by yourself. But yet again, sometimes it's best if you work as a team. Right? You can be, like, for example, doing PTs. Right? You can go by yourself. You can run faster. But yet again, you cannot run alone by yourself for the rest of your life you cannot be by yourself for the rest of your life the thing is we need people you need other people you need other people believe it or not right you need other people the thing nowadays that people are like, okay i'm solo i'm a lone wolf that's fine and all but like you need people you work for other people so the thing is for the most part people just got to look at their mindset if you look at your mindset, you try to figure out your mindset, you try to have a positive mindset, and you try to have a good moral mindset based off the Bible or the Quran or any other um, religious that is actually good. Right? Okay. You'll be fine. You, you don't even necessarily got to be religious. However, you got to have a good base, meaning that you got to have some good morals, some good principles. And if you're just loyal to yourself and not loyal to anybody else, that's selfishness. You're not going to go far with that. Believe it or not, you're not going too far. Yet yeah, some people, you have some example of people that are selfish that went up, but yet again, they always go down. They always go down no matter what. But um, yeah, I will see you guys when I see you guys. Peace out. That was so nice.